Dellums is in the house tonight. Um, she is an accomplished writer, filmmaker, inspirational speaker, political and social activist, entertainment executive, missionary, and mother. She's many things. She's also the daughter of Congressman Ronald B. Dellums. From 1971 to 1998, Ron Dellums was elected to 13 terms as a member of the United States House of Representatives. Mr. Dellums is known for many legislative successes, including authoring the comprehensive anti-apartheid bill vetoed twice by President Ronald Reagan. For the first time in the 20th century, Dellums overrode the presidential veto, bringing down apartheid and freeing all South African political prisoners. He, could, he wanted to deliver a message to Ron, but he could not be here tonight, so he's asked his daughter, Piper. My father was elected to Congress in 1971 and served over 13 terms. And his office there in the Capitol building had that flag that you, Mr. Kovic, gave him. It was the only congressman to have a flag waving. Instead of the stars present, there was a peace sign. And he kept that flag there. And that flag led him to South Africa and Haiti and Cuba and Russia and all over the world. And in fact, after Nelson was released, it led me to South Africa post-apartheid to build 50,000 homes in Soweto. It also led me to Kenya, Nairobi, to cover the bombing of the Kenyan embassy, to do medic medicinal and legal for over 5,000 Kenyans. It led me to remove persecuted Russian Jews out of Russia and back to the homeland of Israel because my husband was a second generation Holocaust survivor. It led me to Congo to build AIDS hospitals. But I remember as a child staring up at that flag, I knew the love and the pride and the adoration that my father had for you. He was also a Marine, had for the nation, had for people. But it wasn't until I too had my own imprisonment in my own body temple. I was not crippled in the same way that you were crippled. I was crippled by the fact that my children at ages three and five were abducted from their preschool and they were gone from my life for eight long years. By year seven, I was 98 pounds and unable to function. I stopped speaking, I shaved my head, my eyebrows, and I'd given up my will to live. And Mr. Kovic, that flag was the flag that we were going to bury our father in. That flag that you gave him was one of the greatest honors of his life. And when I was broken in body, mind, spirit, and physical frame, he wrapped that flag around my body in a hospital, and it became my resurrection as well. So I want to thank you generationally for what peace has meant in my life, what peace has meant for all of those here today, what peace has meant for not just military soldiers, but we're all warriors and soldiers in, in our own respect. We soldier on as mothers, as fathers, as black, white, Jewish, as handicapped, we soldier on. And really the film for me, it, it's your resolve, it's your strength, your courage, it's your truth. All of that makes you and my father my hero. He was unable to be here today because it was also the day that the Nelson Mandela statue was being resurrected at the South African Embassy. But he has a letter for you, and when this is over, he also wants me to get your address because he has a, a personal present that he wanted to deliver to you, not to be presented to you here. But this is the letter that he wrote for you. Dear Ron, words cannot adequately convey the deep appreciation, admiration, and respect I hold for you, my friend. Thank you for the courage you displayed as you spoke out against an unjust and immoral war in Vietnam. You did so with strength, passion, and unwavering conviction. I also thank you not only for raising your voice in opposition to the violence and cruelty of war, but I thank you for your heart, your spirit, and your vision as you championed the extraordinary notion that peace is a superior idea, one that we must ultimately come to embrace if we are to survive and thrive 
as a civilized global family. I am profoundly appreciative that our lives' journeys intersected at an important moment early in our respective histories. Four decades ago, you and I, we helped change the world. Enjoy this moment and embrace it with no self-consciousness. You deserve it, you earned it. My comrade, my brother, my friend. Yours in peace, Ron Dellums. <laughs>